Hello, if you're like me, you know Rising Damp 1974 is one of the best sitcoms of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun to pull up a chair by the campfire and rewatch the sitcom with the entire cast of Then and Now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they have changed in 2023. Okay, let's see. Ruth is played back to his Frances de la Tour. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 30 years old, and now she's living out the 79. Thank you. <laughs> Ask me as many questions as you like. Thank you, miss. <laughs> I once went out with a policeman. Oh, really? <laughs> that she's so interested and wants to go to bed with a very young man. I've I found that quite difficult. So in my storyline in my head, she, she doesn't. Seymour is played back to Henry McGee. In 1975, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 years old. And sadly, on January 28, 2006, he passed away 77 in Twickenham, London, England. I thought, there's a chap I could have a good yarn with. And I was right. Well, yeah, I feel I can talk to you, Seymour. Yeah. Can you all explain? Yeah. That's a damn nice thing to say. Oh. How about you? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, he said, all France loves you. They laugh at you like nobody else. He said, by the way, my name is Marcel Massou. <laughs> you see, and this really tickled him. Lorna is played back to his Deborah Watling. In 1978, when she was in the sitcom, she was 30 years old. And sadly, on July 21st, 2017, she passed away 69 in Frinton on Sea at Sex England. You don't know him. He'd never agree. He'd just get furious. Oh, would you say he was a violent man? Oh, yes, he's got a filthy temper. And he never listens. Went for 29 years to a lovely man called Steve, who's my husband. And uh, no, we are terrifically happy. Rick Spears played back to Leonard Rossiter. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48 years old, and sadly on October 5, 1984, he passed away at 57 at the Lyric Theatre, London, England. What's this? Hmm? Oh, ah, uh, ah uh, then. Uh, SS dagger. Uh, sharp, isn't it? How many throats did that slit on the night of the long knives, I wonder? It is Sir John or Lord O. If he takes a play and tries to bend it out of shape, to fit a character he has in it. Brenda is played back to his Gabrielle Rose. In 1975, when she was in the sitcom, she was 21 years old, and now she's living out the 69. Well, we can soon alter that. Look, I hope there's not going to be any of that. I hope you're not getting this flat with an ulterior motive. No, 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 I just thought we could... Uh... It was post-apocalyptic, and then overnight, the producer and director and somebody else write it, and then you get the script at 7 in the morning and off you go. Baker is played back to George Seawall. In 1975, when he was in the sitcom, he was 51 years old, and sadly on April 2nd, 2007, he passed away at 82 in London, UK. <laughs> yeah, should have put it back. Yes, I don't see why not, sir. Better than unit trusts. <laughs> Evil wizard, and um, in the battle, Aladdin, of course. And uh, so I've just got to go out there and try and frighten the children. Philip is played back to Don Warrington. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 23 years old, and now he's living out the year 72. Two? Anyway, he's frightened of the dark. And, uh, that just leaves the people in this room. Yes, I see what you mean. Where were you when this happened recently? Even Death in Paradise, when we go there, we're starting at the beginning again. Everything's recreated. And when you go back, you mentioned it, you know, how long... Winners play back to John Clive. In 1977, when he was in the sitcom, he was 44 years old, and sadly on October 14, 2012, he passed away 79 in the UK. But you can't go far wrong with that, yes. My constant companion during the war, that and a deck of cards. Yes. 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 I can see that I've come to the right house, Mr. Yes. Fred is played back to Larry Martin. In 1975, when he was in the sitcom, he was 41 years old, and sadly on August 7, 1994, he passed away 60 in St. Mary's Bay, Kent, England. Run out. <laughs> I've got a very big demand this Christmas. Hey, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to put on my pineapple chunks? Oh, well. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, mate. You're nuts. Alan is played back to Richard Beckinsale. In 1974, when he acted in the sitcom, he was 27 years old, and sadly on March 19, 1979, he passed away 31 in Sunningdale, Berkshire, England. 
<laughs> Do you have many crocodiles in your country, then? Well, there's more water than land in my country and more crocodiles than people. Huh. Do they attack you? Of course. Cooper is played by actor George A. Cooper. In 1975, when he was in the sitcom, he was 50 years old, and sadly on November 16, 2018, he passed away at 93 in Liz, Hampshire, England. Cooper, I've been looking for you. Yeah? Yes. In fact, we've all been looking. Spooner is played by actor Derek Newark. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 41 years old. And sadly, on August 11, 1998, he passed away 65 in London, England. What about it? Can I borrow it? <laughs> no. It's all I've got. That and the gold. Ambrose is played by actor Peter Jeffrey. In 1978, when he was in the sitcom, he was 49 years old. And sadly, on December 25th, 1999, he passed away at 70 in Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire, England. Look, if she'd followed the instructions, she'd have been perfectly all right. That's a sovereign remedy, that is. That cures rashes, pimples, flatulence, piles, blushing, stammering, sh Who is your favorite character in the sitcom Rising Damp? And what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you and see you again.